Hi, my name is Benoit Glazer. I am a musician. I dabble in all kinds of things. And I moved to Orlando from Montreal in 1998. And I've been here since. Culture starts with language. And in Quebec for more than 400 years, we've been living in a small puddle of French surrounded by an ocean of English. And so this is a major part of who we are, having to defend, like to be like aggressively defending our language. There's a few, there was a few rules in our family. Our kids were not uh, allowed to speak English in the house. And so to this day, their French is absolutely more than fluent, it's strong. The other rule, they had to learn a third language. And then music is also a language and they had to learn three instruments. That was the thing. My mom could sing, but she didn't play an instrument. My father was a very accomplished fiddler and, you know, played guitar very well. So I was exposed to music at an early age and I was exposed to traditional Quebecois music at an early age. So the original pioneers mostly came from Brittany, except for the women. The women came from Ile-de-France because the king sent them. They spoke French and the Britons, they spoke Breton, which is a, a a Celtic language. They were a Celtic culture. So that's why our folkloric music kind of sounds a lot like Irish music. Our version of the blues um, is complaints. And they're literally complaints about the quality of life under British, that kind of thing. But it sounds like love songs if you don't understand the language. Yeah, my, my parents danced together. That's where they met. Uh, and they dance in a, like a professional folkloric troupe. I like to talk about my mom because uh, I have maybe a reputation for doing a lot. Like in a day, I can accomplish a lot. And I get that from my mom. You know, generous to the community. And so I learned that from her and I try to emulate, you know, what she, what she did. My father was, um, had a very poor, um, childhood, you develop like a, a way of thinking when that's what you have to go through to survive, you know? Like he made his own tools, his own dyes, like he had his, a very smart way of doing things. I always thought he was uh, the smartest man on earth, you know? Of course he was my father. Designing things, thinking as an engineer is just who I am, like it seems. I always admired my, my dad for that and I always like thanking him every day in my mind. So I first had an offer to go to Vegas for Cirque du Soleil and I said no. So Orlando seemed like a more appropriate place to raise my family. I tried to duplicate what Montreal, with a lot of places in Montreal, like there's a place called Loud Stand, which is a defunct jazz club in old Montreal. So it was, there was brick, there was wood. A lot of the inspiration for the design came from places in Montreal. And more importantly, I tried to bring Montreal here the spirit of Montreal, the, the community we've created here, um, although politically very diverse and ethnically very diverse, believe that the universe is all one thing, you know, and arts is important, and, you know, arts is the highest form of human endeavor there is. And it's not about what, it's about how much of it and the accessibility of it. A lot of what we do is pay what you want, um, which is why we've always had a place for local, you know, amateur groups. Arts are important. Art education is the most important thing there is. You'll create better people, like you'll develop better people if you do that. And sharing the arts with everyone, make sure that it, it's accessible to everyone. This is the legacy, you know, the, all of that is the legacy that I want to leave. You know, like somebody take over when I'm gone, somebody take this over and go with it and make it better, you know, and make it grow. Mm -hmm.